Hello guys, my name is John Main Desondra and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint a Pekingese dog. It has a white short hair and really cute. And before that, I'm going to introduce to you my materials. I have here my paint palette. Um, I am using a limited colors and my colors are titanium white, um, tallow blue, medium yellow, brilliant red, lamp black, and, and burnt china. And maybe I am just using a little amount of blue because the background is color brown and the dog is white. So I think there's really a small amount of blue in it and okay so these are my brushes uh, i am using the number two flat uh, no not uh, one inch flat brush number four flat brush number six flat brush number one flat brush and number zero round brush for the details And this is my canvas, it's 12 by 16 inches. Prime and staple it on a plywood. And my medium is water. Okay, so let's start with sketching. So I'm gonna use um this number one flat brush and burn china so i think i'm gonna add it with white so that it, it's not so dark so it, if, if the paint feels drying just dip the brush into the water okay like this one just Tape a little amount of it. Okay. So the color of the dog is white, so we don't have the problem because our canvas is already white. I'm going to do first the face. Okay. I want it to be more whiter. Okay, this is the right way of making the right proportion of the top. So I'm gonna put the eye in here. The nose. That's a very small nose. In the mouth.
Okay. I'm going to include the link if wanna if you wanna copy this tutorial. So maybe I'm gonna make the link of this picture available for you to follow. Just a smaller. Okay, so its tongue is out. You can use a pencil guys if you want it to be not so dirty. Pencil is I think it's better than, than using the the, the paint. Actually guys, this dog is already dead two years ago. Oh, I don't maybe one year ago. Its owner was my boss. So okay, he's dead now. We were really sad about what happened. He was probably six years old. The tail, just uh, okay. I think that's enough for me okay i think i'm gonna need to start with the background first so i'm gonna use the one inch flat brush and the uh, bonchena with white you are free to put whatever background you want as long as you are satisfied with it i'm gonna need to wet the brush to make sure the brush is very very flowy
just follow what I'm doing guys for now I'm just making the first coatings so I am now um, painting the background first and I'm going to paint it with light color before I'm going to add the solid Okay. And I think we're done with the background. Maybe I'll just add a little um, darker shade later for the background. And I'm going to start with the details of the face. I'm gonna use the number one flat brush. Maybe you could you could use the um um round brush. Number one, run brush or number two, it's okay. And I'm gonna need to use the black first, the black and a little burn china so that it won't be so black. Okay. And I'm gonna need to throw the eyes first. Look for the proportion guys of the face. It should not be out of proportion. You should you should be the one to judge your your painting or drawing. Proportion is one of the most important elements in in both drawing and painting. So look look for it always. Yeah and I think my eyes are way bigger than the original so I think later I'm just going to correct it okay so it's the nose just cover it with black just add the the details later like the eyes I think I'm gonna need to uh, add it, it later. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to zoom in the camera so that you will see more the details. Okay. Then to continue the work. Okay. This is mouth. So I'm just using black with a little burnt senna. Okay. 
Okay. Sena Okay. Okay, that's really nice. And I'm going to add a little, um, I'm going to blend some colors on her face, on his, on his face. So I'm gonna use the number four flat brush. And again, I'm just, I'll, I'll use again the burn shena with a little yellow to make it more yellowish or more brown and I'm gonna add white oh it's dropping okay just follow what I'm doing guys if you wanna copy this work or point with me so just follow and you don't have to worry, to worry about the copyright of this picture because uh, my friend on it. Okay. Just some little eyebrows. <laughs> You just have to continue adding the different values of colors, like the darker browns, the lighter browns. So just, you just have to add it layer by layers. And yeah, just glaze it. Okay. This part is uh, way darker. So I'm gonna add a darker color in this area. I think I'm gonna use a bigger brush than that in this one. So I'm gonna use the number number six. I think this is number six. So I'm gonna make it faster. Okay. So I'm just using the same color guys. Continue covering the dark lines using the lighter color brown. Just continue adding until the, the lines are not visible anymore.
Oke. Okay. Just covering some ano, some unnecessary lines kan. And this is are just the base color or the first coat so gonna add more layers later. more so this kind of brush guys the the flat brush will will also create the the four like uh, textures or the the hair the the dog Okay, don't you ever afraid of mixing? So I'm gonna use the yellow now and the burnt sienna again. You can substitute uh, burnt sienna into black and red. Uh, it's the same colors. That's why I'm using limited palette so that you will learn to mix your own colors. Okay. So later we'll add the details. Don't worry about that. And here I am using the glazing technique, applying transparent colors, layers by layers until I reach the right blending. Okay. So I am just, for now I am just, just blending the the base color or the first coats using this one inch flat brush no no um the number six flat brush one inch is way too big for this i remember guys to be confident in what you are doing and don't be afraid to make your strokes okay so another white and to mix for a darker brown so burn china and and yellow everything guys is on your palette so try to explore and don't be afraid to mix the colors you will learn the right amounts for the colors you want to come out and the more confident you are the better the colors you mix so it should be darker Okay. Yeah. 
if you like my tutorial guys please hit like add comments subscribe to my channel for more videos and please visit my website www.jmsundra.com uh, for more paintings more yellow Okay. Okay. Again guys, the technique is always glazing, so just add more transparent colors, layers by layers, until you reach the correct blend of colors. Okay, need more blending. I just add the white on the color brown so okay my advice guys is, is to keep doing it every day it's not easy at first but when you do it frequently or often you will learn the how to handle your brush the right way of mixing and you will gain more confidence when you paint. Okay, so I think when I need to to add more details now. So I'm gonna need to 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 add another block on the eyes so the other eyes also and to the nose okay to the mouth I am not using a pure black guys I mix it with blue, red or brown senna pure black is not really good and some masters and other artists really don't recommend it And I think I'm gonna need to add more details on their on its eyes. So I'm gonna use the round brush, white and black. Okay, 
some reflections so this one Okay, more white than it to emphasize the reflection of the eye. Also this part. Okay, I think it's it looks like an eye now. And uh, the nose, so we're gonna use the mix of gray, white and black. Okay. Okay, I have the nose now. I'm gonna blend this part. Make your round brush guys as pointed as possible. Um, the smaller the better. Another white. Okay. And I'm going to to retouch some area on, on its eyes so gonna mix for a new brown on Sena and an yellow and white Okay, and I'm gonna need more brown, brown shena and yellow. With a little black and white. Just follow what I'm doing guys. Okay. Okay, so it's clear now. Other details. So I'm still using the the bone shina with yellow. So just play with that color, guys. Mix it and play with it gonna mix the lighter one for this nose ok 
así. Some more here. Nice. And add a little darker brown on this part. So just follow what I'm doing guys if you wanna copy this tutorial. I am not really good in English guys, that's why I am having a hard time. Um, speaking and explaining my painting and I'm a shy type person I am quiet I am an introvert honestly and uh, making videos on YouTube teaches me on how to talk that's a good thing about it okay Just a little blending on this part. I blend it with color brown so that the black and brown will have a smooth edges. So just use your brush, uh, pointed brush, guys, for the for the details with the four. Like this one. Like what I'm doing now. So I'm adding more details in, in his face. And if the brush feels like drying, so just dip the tip on your on water so that it will uh, it will become uh, wet or smooth. Okay, so again, I'm gonna need to add more here. Okay. And I'm gonna need to, to add details on its tongue. Okay, so... I'm gonna use the the number one flat brush. So now I'm gonna use the 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 red and white to make it pink. So just the oh, it's very red, more white. Okay, make it a uh, pale pink or the lightest form of pink. So I'm gonna use the burn china burn with a little red. 
and white. Always blend it well. Okay. More white for the lighter shade of its left side. Uh, that's uh, a little highlights on its tongue. So I'm gonna add more white. And later I'm gonna put uh, pure white on this part so that it will become or it will look like uh, shiny or a wet tongue. Okay, more white. This should be some part of um, reflection. Light, um, light reflection. Okay. Okay, more, more blending. And remember, don't make it too red. It will look like he's eating too much chili peppers. Okay, Bernstein and red. Notice my way of blending, guys, is um, circular. Okay, I think that's enough for the okay, little <laughs> for the tang. Add more detail. Um, some. Okay, some edges. So we're gonna use the burn shina and the black, the little white. Use the the feet of the dog. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to zoom out on this part of this video. I I was working on the on the feet, on the details of the feet, but I will show it later. Okay. I am using a new Canon video camera. That's why. Um, it's my first time to use this one. I have lots of errors like the autofocus and the zoom zoom in and zoom out um, issues. So maybe next time I will make it um, more perfect. Okay, more dark, darker. I'm adding black to make it darker. And water to make it uh, wet and flowy.
I'm not gonna make um the 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 fate more detailed, guys. Uh, just because it it will take me more than one hour to do that. I only limit now uh, my videos to be one hour or more than one hour, uh, not two hours. I think I'm gonna use the bigger flat brush, the one inch, to add more um, white or light. Or lighter details. This will make me faster. If you like my tutorial guys, please hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna see my other works, please visit my website um, www.jamesonda.com So I, I am making the the to call this the the texture on this uh, using this brush okay Okay. Wow, it's almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna need to add more details. I'm gonna use the burn china and white for this part. It should not be so light. Look at, look at the brass texture guys okay so before that I'm going to zoom out the camera so that you will see the, the full details okay okay more dark here because this one is um, on the sh shaded area
Okay, two more here. And I'm gonna need to use the blue now. So I'll only a very little amount with white, more white. So I'm gonna need to add it in this area to have a, a blue tone like the uh, light reflection. Okay. Yeah, that's very really nice. I think it's almost done. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna gonna need to add more details, dark. Okay, I'm gonna use the burn shine again with black and a little white. I'm gonna need to add here. I'm going to add um make some adjustments on the proportion. Also here. Okay. So I uh, adding uh, I'm adding more um shading on the base of the dog. And I think I forget the the mouth. It should have more details. Okay, so here it is, more. So just follow me guys if you wanna paint this or copy this painting. And don't worry guys if the painting is not so fine or the details is not so fine. Uh, we can make it more finer or fine if we have more time. So the more time you 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 use for a painting, it will be more finer. I am currently using the the number one flat brush guys so that the details of the hair or the fur um much more smaller. 
Nod more. And I think I'm gonna darken the background so that the object will come out or so same I'm gonna use the branch you now red, red and blue so I'm gonna use this you can actually choose the background you want for your for this guys um, I think green and blue is much more better than brown so you can try it and experiment what's best for you so look at the four guys blue yellow burn china i'm just mixing all the types of colors guys on the background so that it will become more um, impressionistic so if you want then you can you can also modify or choose your own colors or backgrounds that's uh, better and you can practice mixing your own Okay, more yeah that's more like it okay more blue I'm using a hard brush, hard brush, uh, one inch base. Uh, it's really good for bigger surface like the background. You can choose any background color you want as long as you are happy with it and satisfied. And remember, guys, to enjoy the moment while you are painting. It will make you stress free and and of course happy. More I'm gonna add more.
don't worry guys if you're having a hard time doing it at first it's perfectly normal and if not then you are really gifted so just keep on trying and trying and keep on practicing in time you will learn and will be more improved Um, a little more we touch here some bluish um, bluish color more white okay so I'm almost ready to more <laughs> not more so you observe guys that I am playing the colors using a big brush <laughs> this brush is good for the for the hairs or the for the four okay more I think we're gonna add more details or more retouch. Now add more white here, more highlights. Okay, I'm almost contented. And I think in the on the on his tongue, so I'm gonna need to add more what light here. I need to add a highlights to make it uh, to make it looks wet. Yeah. And also on its nose, that's good. Eyes. Wow, it's more alive now. Okay, uh, more here. Okay.
Oh, I forget this part. Okay, more white. I think I am done guys so guys thank you so much for for watching my video for watching this video and if you like the tutorial please hit like uh, add some comments or you can suggest what to do next and please subscribe to my channel for more paintings in the future or if you wanna wa see my works my old works my paintings you will kindly or please visit my website on www.jamelisondra.com and you can see more paintings there so again guys thank you thank you thank you so much and have a nice day